first came down to Nicaragua about three years ago. Um, while I was in grad school, I had this opportunity to volunteer um, with a business development organization, and through that got to know the trash dump community of La Trafeca. Brad and, and Dan um, from Love, Light & Melody were they were visiting here in Nicaragua and they invited me to, to spend a day with them in the house of Alejandra with her family. Something just hit me in La Tradeca that day. I'd been there before, I'd, you know, I'd held the kids and I visited the projects that were going on there. And, but it was that day, just spending time with this family, with her kids, um, that, that I knew that I wanted to do something. There wasn't really anything helping kids to stop working in the trash dump. There wasn't anything to get the kids who dropped out of school, get, get them back in school. Um, so my dream was to, to build something that would, actually, that would exactly help that. And that's when the idea of Nika Hope was born. Hola, Rey. Nika Hope is actually an outreach of Fabretto Children's Foundation. We're now Fabretto's outreach to La Trudeca, which is great. We've been able to to pull in the resources that Fabretto has through all its partnerships with different organizations to best serve this community. <laughs> We're actually so lucky to have her on staff with us at Nika Hope now, and she is so much of the spirit of the program. Um, she has been my right-hand person for so, so much of building up this project. She's been the one telling me what these kids need, what the community needs, how they need to be understood, why the kids aren't going to school, what they need to be able to go to school. Um, so much of this project has been built out of her knowledge and um, intimate relationships with the different families in the community. Yo creo que mi trabajo es más social, traer niños. Me encanta trabajar con los niños. Me encanta escucharlo. Me encanta saber si les podemos ayudar. Si siempre les podemos ayudar. Nicaragua education, enrollment, and attainment is it's unacceptable. The latest stats that I was had just been reading: 50% of the kids that are enrolled in first grade will not likely make it to sixth grade. Um, a lot of kids drop out of school um, by the time they get to the end of primary school, and so we're doing a lot to keep the kids in school. Todos, verdad? Además, tenemos niñas de 13, 14, 15 años que nunca habían estudiado. Y ahora este año y están muy impulsivas y este año menos trabajo y más estudios y más como, como más trabajo técnico práctico y, y más visión al futuro. We're feeding lunch to over 1,200 kids a day in the two public schools, um, the Aqualinka School and the Wisconsin School, located right outside the dump. Um, we also uh, donate food to the, the School of Hope, the Esperanza School. Um, uh, that's located inside the dump. Um, we work with the children from both, um, for all three of those schools to bring them here to our, our classes in computers and jewelry um, and after school tutoring. Um, we provide many of those kids with school uniforms and school shoes so they can go to school. And one of the biggest challenges, of course, is being able to, to meet um, the demand for the, the number of kids that want to enter the program. They really can only serve as many kids as we can financially support and so we're working hard to, to raise the funds to be able to, to serve this community more. Um, there's such a great need and you know there's always a balance between how many kids you're going to let in the program and then the quality of services that you can offer to each student and so we're really trying to balance that with the resources that we have. There are a variety of different ways to, to contribute to Nika Ho. One, one really tangible way um, is of course through the jewelry program. Every piece that we sell, a child or a mother in the program is able to earn the income from. These kids have such talent and really, the more that we can sell um, through uh, working with partner organizations like Love, Light and Melody, um, the more that the kids can earn, the more ability they have to not have to work in the trash dump. These are uh, some of the students we have at Nika Hope. This is Jocelyn here. She works in our jewelry program. Um, she's got back in school that, uh, this year. She uh, she used to be working in the trash dumps, not anymore. Um, Alejandra as well. Really do think everybody, however big or small, according to the resources and the capabilities and the, and the talents that they have, have something to offer. If you have any interest in, in checking out some of the items we have, um, you can learn more about it through Love, Light, and Melody.